Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode of our Echocardiography Basics series. In this talk, we will discuss briefly the echocardiographic features of patients with cardiac sarcoidosis. So what is sarcoidosis? It's an inflammatory disease of unknown etiology, and it is characterized by infiltration of several organ systems by non caseating granulomas. So what are the most common organs involved in patients with this disease? The heart, which is our main concern. The other organs are the lung, the bronchi, the trachea, the liver, the spleen, and the skin. So looking at the heart by echo, what are the main types of findings you can expect in patients with sarcoidosis? The first type, type 1, is characterized by thinning and echinesia of the basal septum. The second type, type 2, is characterized by aneurysmal dilatation involving the other part of the left ventricle, which is the inferior or posterior lateral wall. Let's see them together, how they look like in echo. This is an illustration on the right side, showing how there will be abnormal thinning, localized thinning of the basal septum. And you can see on the left side the 2D image, which shows clearly the thinning of the basal part of the septum. And actually, this is the most common type of sarcoid heart involvement. And it is reported to be around 90% of cases of sarcoidosis, of sarcoid heart. In another view, in the left parasternal long axis view, you can see the same finding clearly as thinning of the basal part of the septum. And you can obviously here see the difference between the base of the septum and the mid septum, how they look very different in thickness. The other type of sarcoid involvement, as we mentioned, which is aneurysmal dilatation of the infraposterior or lateral wall of the left ventricle, you can see it clearly here in this view, in the left parasternal long axis view, and you can see it in the apical four chamber view aneurysmal dilatation of the posterolateral or inferior wall of the left ventricle. Is there any other echo findings you expect to see in such patients? Yes. Increased echogenicity of the myocardium is an important feature. Diastolic dysfunction of the left ventricle with different grades from mild, moderate, and severe grades. Valvular involvement by the sarcoid process is actually something important to look for. Why the valves are involved? Either it is due to direct granulomatous infiltration of the valves by the uh, sarcoid process or secondary to the cardiomyopathic changes that happen in such patients. So the commonest valve involved is the mitral valve followed by tricuspid regurgitation. Another important feature we expect to see in patients with sarcoid heart is involvement of the right ventricle. This view is the subcostal four chamber view and here we can see clearly the, there is increased thickness of the right ventricular free wall. What is the normal thickness of the right ventricular free wall? In this view it's up to 5 mm. This measurement is about 7 mm which is obviously thicker than what we expect normally. Another features in patients with sarcoidosis, sarcoid heart, are pulmonary hypertension due to lung involvement, which is quite expected. Another frequent, other infrequent findings like pericardial effusion, tamponade, and constrictive pericarditis. If we want to utilize more advanced echo modalities, like strain imaging, for example, we can obviously notice there is reduced peak systolic shortening at the area involved by the sarcoid process. For example, in this patient, the patient had thinning of the basal part of the infraceptum. So if we compare the peak systolic shortening of the basal infraceptum to the lateral wall of the left ventricle, you can see clearly that there is reduction, marked reduction in the peak systolic shortening of the septal part, the basal septum, compared to the basal anterolateral wall. And that is obvious. These are our references. And I'd like to finish by inviting you to join our 
social media platforms, our Facebook group, Young Network of Cardiovascular Imaging, you will have the chance to and share knowledge with experts in the field of cardiac imaging and echocardiography, a lot of interactive daily discussions and cases, and our other platform on LinkedIn, where you will have also similar uh, uh, platform for um, uh, for uh, very fruitful discussions in the field of echocardiography. And remember, if you want to be happy and successful in life, never ever stop learning. Thank you so much. We are welcoming to you your suggestions and input. Please contact us on these emails for any further uh, suggestions for topics, for any further uh, suggestions for um, our future presentations. Thank you so much. Bye.